Hello, this is Aaron with iBoR Data Recovery, and today I'm going to be working on an iPhone XS. And this phone is basically in perfect condition. It was never dropped and it wasn't water damaged or anything like that. So in this video I want to show you how I uh, approach phones that just have no signs of what the damage might have been. I want to show you how I diagnose them and how I solve the problems on the board. And in this case I haven't done anything to it yet other than open up the screen and the motherboard looks completely undamaged as well. So the first thing I like to do is take my DC power supply probes and connect them to the battery connector and see what kind of amp draw I'm getting. So when I do that, you can see, you want to keep an eye out on this number up here. I get an immediate amp draw before I press the power button, before I prompt it to boot. Um, and this usually indicates like a VDD main short or sometimes a VDD boost short or something along those lines. Um, so the very next thing I like to check is to see if it is actually VDD main because I have an easy point to check that. So I'll grab my multimeter probes here and I know I have main right here. So if I check here, I see that I do not have a short on this line. So I most likely will have a VDD boost short. That's the next uh, biggest culprit when it's not main. So I'm going to go ahead and take this board out of the housing. Let's see if we can solve it. So if we look at our board view software, I know that I have boost right here. Um, I have a boost cap over here, so I'll be able to measure this to make sure that that's the line that's actually short. So here's my board. I've pulled it out of the housing. And let's check if that capacitor is actually short. That will give me access to the whole boost line and I can see if that's my line that's short. So I'll take my multimeter probes and it looks like it was this cap that's on the boost line. Let's see if that's short. And yeah, so boost is short. So I think I'll go ahead and pull this shield first. and inject into here and let's see if we can find if we're lucky if it just happens to be you know right here so I'll use some free spray and I'll inject some voltage into boost for boost you can use the same voltage as main so I usually use about four volts at about two amps so this might be a little bit wide for you to see so sorry if it's out of out of range but I'll pull it into focus if I see something lighting up. So it does appear that this area down here is heating up first. So I could still be wrong, but let's keep an eye out in this area and see if one of these capacitors is heating up. Some people don't know this. I do expect most of my viewers to know this, but any capacitor on the boost line, like you can inject into any capacitor and all the lines are gonna like, it's all gonna be shared on the same line. I'm not explaining that well. But like when you measure one capacitor, you're not just measuring that capacitor, you're, you're measuring every capacitor on that line. So yeah, it's very clear, there's the, there's the short. So this was a very easy job. I don't even have to split this board, so that's great to see. All I'm gonna have to do is pop that capacitor off and this phone will work normally. So I don't know why sometimes, you know, the customer doesn't do anything. Sometimes these, uh, these uh, capacitors will just short out on their own and you know, there's really nothing that the customer could have done to prevent it. There's nothing that they did that caused it. So now if I measure this line, I just like to measure the same one I did in the beginning so you can see this is no longer short. This side is ground so it's beeping. This side is giving me a normal diode mode reading. So this phone is no longer short and it should be booting up now and it should be giving me a normal boot up sequence on my DC power supply so let me show you what that looks like now. So now when we take our DC power supply probes and connect them to the battery connector, we'll no longer have 
an amp draw before we prompt it to boo, as you can see here. And the reason I like to do this is because you don't have to have the screen, the battery, and the charge port to get like a good idea of what this motherboard's doing. But if I short the power button, which is the same as pressing the power button, we can see that this is going to give us a normal boot sequence. So a steady rise um, like that is, is basically a normal boot sequence. So this phone will be turning on now and I'll verify that by grabbing a battery screen and a charge port so you can see and then we'll be able to take data from it. So let me, let me grab that. So we can see an Apple logo, that's good. Yep, and we're booted up. Touch is working. And it took the passcode. Thanks for watching this video and hope you have a good one and uh, hope you stop by again. Bye-bye.